What's up, you guys? My name is Malcolm Lee. I'm the owner of FTW Studios LA, and my studio was just robbed. I'm not gonna lie, this was really a damaging blow to my business. They stole about $80,000 worth of stuff between cameras, barber equipment, lighting, lenses, memory cards, batteries, monitors, just, they stole a bunch of stuff, and the way it happened was just, it, it couldn't be predicted or prevented on my end. I would say this loss really hurts more than anything because I'm not from here. I'm from New Jersey. I moved here two years ago to LA. It's been a great experience, but it hasn't been easy. I work every single day. I don't take a, days, a day off. My schedule's open seven days a week. It took me years in my various professions and skills and trades to amass all of the stuff that was stolen. It, it, it really sucks, you know what I'm saying? Because it, I'm always trying to help somebody. I'm always willing to give knowledge, just help out. I don't like gatekeeping and, and it's a lot, you know what I mean? It's really a lot. I moved to LA because I lost my mom in 2021 from COVID and I just felt like I needed a change. That's why I moved here and started up my business. I built it from scratch with my own two hands, no help, no, like every nail, every everything that's up in the studio, I, 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 I put my all into it, you get what I'm saying? So to have my stuff stolen, it just, it just it's, it's a crazy feeling, you know what I'm saying? It's a crazy feeling. I'm not too big on asking for help. I'm not too big on asking anybody for anything. Um, I really like just, you know, putting the work in to get whatever I'm, I'm trying to get to. Um, but at this time, I'm just asking if anybody wants to donate to the studio to help me get back on my feet and help me just like figure out things with my businesses. By all means, I'm gonna open up the GoFundMe. So if you guys wanna donate, please, anything helps. But nonetheless, I am gonna be hustling all throughout the year again to hopefully recoup half of the stuff that I lost. You get what I'm saying? Uh, there is insurance, but I have to see what how that goes. And it does take a while and it's a lengthy process. So until then, I have to, you know what I'm saying, make do with what I got. I don't let things weigh me down too much because the hardest thing I ever had to lose was my mom. You know what I'm saying? This is just, you know, a part of my story, but I don't want to drag this video out for too long and I don't want to sit here sobbing and pleading. But if you guys would like to donate, the GoFundMe will be there again. And um, again, man, thank you so much to everybody that's reached out to me, sent me some words. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the other side of this slight uh, mishap or setback. You so just to give you guys a visual, this was the window that they actually broke through. What they did was they put a ladder up by my window. I'm on the second floor. They put a ladder up by my window. They climbed up and then they used a hammer to bust through the window and they actually broke off because the window is so old and this is just, this is such an old building. Uh, even though I have my, keep my windows lock, locked at all times, uh, they were able to uh, bust the actual like fixture on the window to get in. It, it, it really sucks because I did everything I was supposed to do on my end to secure my building, I mean, to secure my property. And, um, you know, just because the building's old and it, the, the structure is not it, where it's, what it's supposed to be, this happened. So, you know, sucks, right? Both of these lockers was filled with equipment. Um, this one had like all my pro photo lighting in there, my aperture lighting, uh, lenses, camera. This one had a bunch of my, uh, like my smoke machine, my slider, more lighting, just a bunch of stuff. When I came in the studio, this stuff was laid out like this and I was looking like, I didn't do that. You know what I mean? So I'm still in shock as to how somebody was able to like get in my studio, even though it's secure. As far as my barber station, they stole all of my clippers. When I came into my studio, everything was just like ramsacked like this. Those were wide open. Um, all my clippers are gone. They took uh, my compressor. They took everything, you know what I mean? Uh, they even took my business cards. Um, they took my spray bottle with my, my aftershave and they took a lot of stuff. But I'm just showing you guys to show you what, what transpired. And despite my setbacks, you know, my mindset is just focused on getting back what I lost and then some, you get what I'm saying? And, and using this to project me forward to the next thing because I know this didn't happen for no reason. I mean, God works in mysterious ways and I'm very obedient and I listen. I don't ask why, I just, I just go with the flow, you know what I mean? So yeah, they stole all of my merch, you know what I'm saying? My merch was set up right here and they actually only left me like three t-shirts. <laughs> you know what I mean? They only left me like three t-shirts. You know, you guys are so nice, whoever stole my stuff, you're so nice. Took everything else, left me two t-shirts. It's like, you gotta make some money, right? Um, but nah, but you know, uh, even though this, this stuff really sucks, man, I, I, I'm just trying to keep good energy about it. Thank you guys so much for listening and just watching this video real quick. And I don't wanna take up too much more of your time. If you guys would like to donate, feel free to hit up the GoFundMe. And um, thank you guys for all the love, support, and the words. And yeah, I'm out, you know what I mean? I gotta get to work, <laughs> peace.